a whole nother episode there. But uh, a whole nother one, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna kind of put both of us on the spot a little bit um, because of what I want to talk about is basing, right? So okay. um, the ST side of the house is pretty easy, you know, for bases mm-hmm. that that ST PJs are at. You know, you're talking about your Herbert Fields in Florida, your Pope Army mm-hmm. Airfield in North Carolina, your Joint Base Lewis McCord in Washington, um, your Cannon Air Force Base in New Mexico. You've obviously got your UK or United Kingdom, Japan, and then you got your two guard units, Portland and uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Mm-hmm. I I don't think I'm missing any for the ST side, but I am going to need your help on the RQS side of the house because you know you gotcha. have, you have your normal your your Moody's, Las Vegas, North or New York. Um, mm-hmm. Alaska, Tucson, Arizona, Italy, Japan, yep. Cocoa yep. Beach. And you were that, doing so and good. That, and now I'm like, I got nothing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So the only one that you miss is they actually do have PJs right now. What's called the Block 40 is kicking off at the 2 1. So they're about to get PJs as well. So the 2 1 STS. So all the two series units now have pararescue men attached to them. So ST side of the house, you crush it. So on the garden reserve side of the house, you've got garden reserve teams, um, you know, respectively at Alaska, DM, Moffitt, which is in San Jose, California. So DM is in Tucson, Arizona. Moffitt is in outside of San Jose, California. Uh, up at J Bear is the Alaska guys. You've got Cocoa Beach, Florida, and that's your Cocoa team. And then as you go further up the coast, you have New York, the 103rd guard, right? So then active duty, we typically refer to it as the big three. You've got Vegas. And that's the 58th. You've got Tucson has an active duty unit. That's the 48th. And then you have Moody. That's the 38th. And that's in Valdosta, Georgia. Overseas units, you crush it. We've got Aviano, Italy. And that's the 57th RQS. 56th RQS. I can't. I think I think I think it's the 57th because it used to be like the 56th. Um, it used to be the combined squadron. So I think it's the 57th now. But I'm actually not that sure because they moved. And then you have the um, the uh, rescue unit out at Okinawa, Japan. So and that's the 31st RQS. Yeah, I told you that one was going to be challenging because I actually either go in from West Coast to East Coast or or, or have yeah. a list. You're kind of like, <laughs> yeah, I know these guys. I know they're out yeah. there and they're doing good work. Um, yeah. Yeah. I remember the Nellis guys, the guys out in Las Vegas blowing out um, several times for rescues up in Zion National Park yep. in Utah up there just yep. – and Charleston, Mount Charleston, just always mm-hmm. doing stuff uh, up there. And I know the Alaska guys are always – all the time. getting people. Well, and that's the cool thing about being a PJ and, and it doesn't matter where you work in ST or if you work in, you know, the guard and the reserve, or if you're at the rescue unit, like if you're home, you maintain an alert commitment. We're on alert right now mm-hmm. for stuff that can happen in the, in the Pacific Northwest. And that's at an ST. And, you know, we work right up the road from Portland. They have a stateside mission as well that they're doing stuff. And, you know, Alaska, that's the preponderance of their work. I think during rescue season, which is every single year, I think for like seven months, they do something like 2.5 rescues a week. I'd have to look at the numbers on that. Somebody call me out. I'm, I'm sure you will. But, you know, there there have been people, I, even at Kirtland as an instructor, and we haven't even talked about where you can instruct, you know, because you can instruct it at Free Fall School, any one of the schools that we have, you can you can work at all those. And it's, it's too long to list for, for this thing that we're doing. But I actually got uh, three or four missions out of Kirtland as an instructor. And we got weight, you know, we, you know, I was the op soup for more than that. So I went on, I think, two missions out of Kirtland. Um, for personal recovery. And then um, we had, I think, three or four more during my time that other teams went and did. So you always have that possibility. You can get called at any time. Yeah. And that's from an ST <laughs> or, a, or a rescue. Yeah. And it's, and you always got to be ready. Like, I mean, I, I'd be guessing here if you, if I, if I'm going to talk about the guys on the teams right now, but I mean, even I still keep a med kit and I'm not a medic. But I keep a med mm-hmm. kit in my car. I've got numerous tourniquets yeah. in every single one of my yeah. cars and at the house just in mm-hmm. case because you never know what you're going to roll up on. And I'm not talking about blowouts for alerts. I'm just talking about like, hey, you're rolling down your neighborhood and there's a fire or you come across a, a car accident or something like that that mm-hmm. you need to do some work on. You could save somebody's well, life. I, well, I had and a great story about this, about how PJs are always ready that others may live. I had good friends that were working at DM. They were at the active duty unit. They were driving back. There was a huge dust storm and it was essentially a mass casualty on the highway. I had a good friend that's a team leader of mine that got up. They were training. They were at the wind tunnel. 
they were driving back to the unit and they found themselves in this mass casualty scenario and thank goodness they were ready. And they actually saved everybody, every single viable patient out of that thing that wasn't dead when they got there. They saved every single one of them. And that was at the end of the day, just ready to go. <laughs> and then they're like, okay, cool. Which bar are we going to? Okay. Yeah. yeah hey, who's car are we taking? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was a thing. Let's, uh, let's continue this ride home. Yeah, exactly. 